What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Good people. I wanted to take this time to discuss an issue that I have with Toro. I just tried to uh, acquire a vehicle uh, probably around 1210 today, the 13th of June 2021. Uh, downloaded the app last night, the 12th of June, 2021. And I have some problems with the app already because there are some things that aren't in the fine print that I think people need to know about. Uh, because what's crazy is I happen to, uh, rent a car like I said earlier today, around 12. Matter of fact, with this, it was 12 11, around 12 10, okay? By 12, by 257, I was sent this message saying that the car wasn't available until Wednesday, okay? I booked it from Monday till Friday, right? Not, not, it, it, had, it wasn't even three hours, okay? Wasn't even three hours. And this is the problem that I have. Okay, I went and went to the details, went to change, you know, to cancel the trip because, as you can see, I was sent the message saying that, you know, the vehicle wasn't ready until Wednesday. So I went to cancel the trip. And as you can see, the trip cost was 305 which I happened to pay. But they have a non-refundable fee for $65.84, excuse me. And now all of a sudden I'm being, I'm only being refunded $239.81, which is outrageous. So that's the reason why I wanted to do this video for beginners like myself that may be trying Toro for the first time. Make sure that you really, really pay attention and uh, find a vehicle that has a lot of reviews, okay? I think that's probably the mistake that I just made using this for the first time. I can't blame the host. Maybe something took place that the host needed to take care of or something like that. I don't know if the host got that $65, so I can't blame the host. I'm just saying be careful because as you can see for uh, a customer to pay these fees and then all of a sudden now you're charged a non-refundable fee it just seems a little it's 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 it's, it's not a little it is outrageous. I mean not even 4 hours later I'm being charged $65 for something that wasn't even my doing i didn't cancel the trip you know i just got a message saying you know stating that the vehicle wouldn't be ready until wednesday so i can't blame the host you see what i'm saying i'm trying to figure out why would toro charge me 65 dollars for nothing i mean the a transaction wasn't even made or you know in exchange you know as far as me taking the keys and the vehicle, nothing. I mean, it's Sunday. I mean, I wasn't supposed to pick the car up until tomorrow at one o'clock. You know, so I'm 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 confused. I'm like, damn, sixty five dollars for nothing, and 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 I didn't cancel it. You know, I I mean, it's not my fault, and it's damn sure not the the the, the uh, host's fault. Maybe something happened. You see what I'm saying? But I don't think someone should be charged. $65, you shouldn't be charged anything for a transaction that wasn't made. And another thing that's outrageous is that the fees actually cleared my account. You know, it's saying, you know, that I, I've been charged $305. You know, that's came out of my, it's coming out, it's come out of my account. $305 already came out of my account. I called the bank. I have to wait two days just to stop the payment or, you know, try to get, you know, the, or cancel the payment pretty much because that's what I, uh, pretty much expect anyone to do. 
you know, I think you should uh, make sure you get in touch with your bank and have them cancel that transaction. But, you know, that's all I wanted to talk about. Toro seems like a cool app that people talk about. But, you know, with this just happening, it's kind of like, what in the hell? I mean, you're charging fees for host cancellations. Not the client, not the customer, the host. They're getting charged for cancellations that, you know, I didn't. It's, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, be careful. Toro seems like they might have some tricks up their sleeves. Sleeves with hidden fees and BS that customers will not see in fine print. You know, so that's all I wanted to talk to y'all about. Hope y'all dodge all that bull. Uh, it's Kavari Valentine. And that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? I'm out of here.